Hello guys, my name is Adu Oduma from Oya Construct. This is the concluding part of a previous video where we talked about building professionals. We listed five of the popular building professionals in the Nigerian construction industry. We spoke briefly about them and the institutes that control their activities in Nigeria. So in this concluding part, I'm going to talk more building professionals, the institutes that control their activities and the criteria for selecting them for your next project. The seventh professional on our list is the estate surveyor and valuer. An estate surveyor is someone who specializes in land ownership, property rights and management. He or she provides services related to the transfer of real estate, property to and from owner and transferee. This includes surveys, appraisals, titles, and searches. An estate surveyor must have a degree in surveying. The Nigeria Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers was founded in 1969 by a few qualified general practice charter surveyors who were trained in the United Kingdom. Estate Surveyors and Valuers Registration Board of Nigeria is the regulatory body for the profession. The eighth professional analyst is a project manager. The project manager may have to manage the budget and schedule for the project, negotiate with contractors, subcontractors, and consultants about the project scope, delegate tasks to various members of the team, and make sure the project is completed successfully. The Chartered Institute of Project Managers of Nigeria is the body responsible for control and registration of project managers in Nigeria. The ninth professional on our list is the builder. A builder is someone trained and licensed to oversee building projects and supervise the workers involved in the construction process. The Nigeria Institute of Building is a professional body for builders and those who are about to engage in the building profession. The Council of Registered Builders of Nigeria was established by the Federal Republic of Nigeria to regulate the practice of building construction, maintenance and management in Nigeria. The tenth professional on our list is the town planner. Town planners make decisions about what type of development should take place in a particular area. They work with architects and engineers to determine how land may best be used. Town planners typically prepare and oversee plans for new residential developments, roads, parks, schools, and commercial areas. Nigeria Institute of Town Planners was founded in 1966. It's Africa's leading community of urban planners. Town Planners Registration Council of Nigeria was established by law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to regulate and control the practice of professionals of physical planning in all its aspects and ramifications. So now that you have become aware of the popular building professionals in Nigeria, I'm sure you want to know if you need to engage all of them on your building project. My answer is no. The size, complexity and location of your project will determine who to hire for the project. Only a few professionals may be needed to complete a project. An experienced professional may, on a simple project, be able to produce building plans, cost it, and supervise its construction. Just make sure the person knows what he or she is doing. What are the criteria for selecting a building professional? 1. Relevant experience. Ask questions like, how many years of practical site experience does he or she have? Has he or she done a similar project before? Or faced similar opportunities or challenges similar to your current project? 2. Reference Does the building professional have a good reputation among former and current clients? Ask former clients if they were satisfied with the consultant's work. Talk to friends, family, and other professional colleagues. Ask about what they think of him or her, or search online. 
Is he or she willing to put the best interests of the client ahead of their own? The third criteria for selecting a bidding professional is are they members of their professional body? Professional bodies usually keep a directory of their registered members on their website or in a booklet you can get at their office. So you can contact the relevant professional body or association and ask them to refer one of their members. The fourth criteria is the professional fees being charged by the professional. Cost is important when selecting a bidding professional, but it must be measured against your project requirements. Don't always go for the lowest fees. Consider the value of his or her work on your project. The fifth criteria for selecting a bidding professional is communication skills. He or she should possess strong oral and written communication skills. Make sure they listen, understand what you are saying, and is able to deliver on your requirements. Properly selecting a bidding professional is not easy and may take a lot of time, but it can have enormous benefit to your project or devastating consequences. But I'm sure if you follow the steps above, it will help you in the selection process. However, OyaConstruct.com is building a community of stakeholders in the construction industry. So you can visit our website to choose from our verified list of building professionals or send us an email at contact at OyaConstruct.com to help you with the selection process. <music>